So let's get started. In my crock pot here, I have my heated butters and oils. Right now I am going to add in my rosemary antioxidant or rosemary orsaline extract. So let's, let's give it a quick stir, stir, stir for incorporation. Next, I am going to add in my coconut milk powder and dump it all in there. Do a quick stir and then I am going to stick blend to make sure there are no lumps. It looks like it's pretty good there. This is my tea water. It's a combination of course tea and dist distilled water. And um, I have sugar in here. And this does have a very, very strong odor. But I'm gonna stir it till it's fully dissolved. Stir this up a little bit. And then I'm going to stick blend to a thick trace. And And we're going to let it cook for a little bit. And the soap is starting to rise. You can see it's slowly rising. With a little bit folds over on the sides. Loosen this up just a little bit. And we're starting to volcano which is good and I'm going to bring it back down and we are at the mashed potato state look at that it for another minute. Add in my sodium lactate, bad girl. And as you can see, we are at that Vaseline stage and it is beautiful. Now I am going to add in my fragrance oil. I'm going to stir this in gently, stirring in my fragrance oil.
Africa. I'm going to let this sit just for a couple minutes. Then we'll be ready to pour it into the mold. Over here. going to scrape my pot because I have a thought that if you scrape your when you scrape your pot if you put all of the hard soap into almost like a steam bath and let it sit there for a while it will will loosen up and become liquefied again so I am going to do all my scraping scraping this and we're going to scrape this. We're going to take all this hard soap off. And let's see what happens. Normally, we would make a soap ball out of this. But I am just convinced that by putting this inside either a crock pot or a turkey cooker with some water. And just let it sit on a low setting for 10, 15, 20 minutes. That this will all turn kind of liquefied. Now, I could be wrong. But I don't think I am. So with all my scrapings, I have about two ounces of scrapes here. So I'm going to put it in my turkey cooker or oven roaster, whatever you want to call it, for a little while. And let's see if this will actually liquefy. Next step in the process here, let's get our ice cubes in here. So in between each one here. I'm just gonna put my, these are melting pours. I'm gonna put them in there. Whoops. They're like ice cubes. And uh, two, three, eight, First one, I'm going to actually, I'm going to put it back over on, in my, um, in my turkey cooker just for a little bit of heat to see if I can get the melt and pour soap to melt down just a little bit more to give it more of a realistic effect. So here's the effect. I let this sit inside the, the melt and pour, sit inside the, um, Cook, turkey cooker just for a few minutes melted it down this is what i'm looking for put it in the freezer this went a lot more melting than i originally had planned but it's okay and let me see if i can put some of this on top and throw it in the refrigerator real quick
and so this is the last one so everything now goes into the freezer overnight and then I will come back with the cut watching this is going to be interesting um, this is my first time doing a combination of hot process with melt and pour and hopefully I get my little ice cubes this day hello everyone and I am back the soap has been inside of the freezer at least at least eight hours or longer or overnight so I am going to take off one of the I'm gonna take the soap out of the mold it's coming out pretty easily which is good Put this on the side and I am happy with what I see here I like the color now what I had to decide is whether I was going to use my butt cutter or if I was going to use, um, I forgot what they call this thing. And I decided not to use my butt cutter and the reason is butt cutters are made specifically for um, cold process soap. So now since I have a combination of cold process and hot process soap, I need to make sure that of course this one doesn't want to act right now I need to make sure oops wrong side I need to make sure that um, the the soap can cut easily so I'm putting the soap right here I'm gauging there just so I can get a half an inch off the top a half an inch off the side so let me try my first one and see how well it cuts with this one here, just want to take a half inch off and push down, push down. And it is a trip to cut. It is nasty. There you go. That's my first one. You can just see a little bit of the iced tea here. That's a half inch. That's the first one. And it's gonna take some work for me to, I like that. Okay, I didn't like the way that cut though. So what I am gonna do is try and lay it flat and see if I can get it a little better. came out too bad let's try this one I think this is what's happening I am not happy with the way this 